Man, imagine if you had that I just had my haircut look and feeling every single day without actually going to the barber shop. How would you feel then when you come across that woman who you think is super beautiful? With that being said, it would be very beneficial to you to invest in some grooming assets such as a trimmer so you can line yourself up consistently or even some good lotion that you can quickly put on when there is no time for the whole skincare routine. You are in the right place my bro because not only are you going to get the best grooming tips to look more attractive to women but also easy enough to maintain when life gets crazy. Number one, invest in a simple but yet effective effective skincare routine. Guys will hear the word skincare and automatically start thinking of James Charles, Kim Kardashian, giant makeup box with a hundred different types of lotions, million type of scrubs and all this extra crazy shit. No bro, you do not need to do all that stuff. You don't need the next giant Gucci type lotion, skincare, extra Louis Vuitton collab type shit. No bro, you do not need any of that extra stuff. All you need is something simple that takes less than five minutes. Go to the store and get you a facial exfoliation that you can use every other day in the shower and also some good lotion that you can quickly put on right after you're out of the shower. This is simple and easy. It will make your skin look shiny and clean, but yet not doing too much, looking like you just put fucking makeup on and shit. You don't want to look like you just put on makeup, guys. That's the thing with this skincare stuff. Guys will do too much and it looks like they're trying too hard and it looks like they're just winning their girlfriend's box and took out their makeup and started putting that shit on. No, don't be doing all that shit, guys. You can literally do this with less than $10, guys. You don't need the next James Charles and Lil Nas X high-end collab type shit, bruh. You don't need that shit. Lots of women agree that a man with clear skin who's well-groomed and everything is three times more attractive than a man who is not. And I honestly couldn't agree more based on my experience and what women have told me. Women work really hard so that they can put themselves in the best light and present themselves to look their best so they can get the most attractive guy. And as a man, you want to do the same thing. You want to improve yourself as much as you can so you can put yourself in the best light so you can attract the highest quality women that you desire. Number two, invest in a trimmer. Bro, don't you wish you could have that fresh lineup 24 seven? Don't you wish you could maintain that I just left the barbershop crispy clean lineup 24 seven of feeling confident and happy and good in your own skin? Well, having a trimmer at home is the easiest way to do that. You can line yourself up every other day so you can look crispy and clean all the time without you having to spend 10, $20 at the barber shop every other day. When we talk about trimmers, I suggest you invest in the sharp one, the really sharp one that your barber uses to make that clean, crispy lineup. What you need to do is ask your barber, what kind of trimmer does he use to make your lineup and invest in that one so you can have it at home. So every other day you can clean up your crispy lineup, you know, and make it look fresh every day. You're stepping out the house, you're feeling confident, you're feeling like you just got that fresh trim, you have that, I just left the barber, clean lineup feeling, you see that beautiful woman who you are super attracted to, you already know what time it is. You don't need to think twice. You don't need to think twice about your widow's peak coming out or your beard lineups trying to fade away and shit. You don't need to think about that shit because you already got right. You woke up this morning and went straight to the bathroom and lined your shit up and you stepped outside you see that girl you're like oh shit it's already time you start making your move you're feeling confident you're feeling good about yourself that's what you want to do guys that's the feeling you want to leave the house with and it's also going to help people to take you a lot more seriously because you look good number three keep your lips moisturized my g how are you gonna be walking around with dry ass lips, looking like they're about to fucking crack open with the next word you say, and then be wondering why that girl turned her head when you tried to kiss her? Why she told you that, oh, I don't kiss on the first date when you tried to make your move to kiss her? Why do you think that happened? And you walking around here with them dry ass fucking lips. Like, come on, y'all, y'all gotta put some lip chap on, like something as simple as Blitex or Burst Bees, whatever the fuck. Them shits are small as hell. You can put one in your gym bag, your work bag, and it's so convenient. Have it with you 24 seven and keep your shit clean. You don't wanna be approaching these women and start talking to these women with dry ass fucking lips, <laughs> looking like you, you, you have a plastic layer on your lips. They're so goddamn dry. Come on, y'all. Y'all need to do better than that. There is no fucking excuse as to why you should be having dry lips. This shit cost it fucking one dollar or less than one dollar. If you don't have one dollar to invest in lip chap, then use Vaseline. Put that on your lips. That works. 
Even better actually. Make sure your lips stay moist and juicy at all time. Pause, pause, aight? Ain't no woman gonna be fantasizing about kissing a dude with dry ass fucking lips like that. What the fuck, what the fuck are we talking about here? That's like you fantasizing about kissing a girl who's got crooked yellow teeth, you know them cigarette smoking crackheads who's got fucked up teeth and looking all nasty and shit. Right, you ain't fantasizing about that. So what makes you think a, a woman is gonna be out here thinking about kissing you with them dry ass, ugly looking lips? Come on, bro. Come on, y'all gotta do better than that. If you guys made it this far, I already know you're getting lots of value from this video. Hit that subscribe button so you can consistently level up so you can become that guy women sleep with quickly. And also hit that like button too so I know y'all are feeling these type of videos. Number four, invest in a nail clipper. Bro, ain't no women's gonna want you to touch them with them long ass Voldemort looking ass fingernails, bruh. Come on. Women pay attention, guys. Women pay attention to small details like that. It tells them a lot about how much you value yourself and how much you take care of yourself. It tells them a lot without you having to say anything. A guy who's clipping his nails takes the time out of his day to take care of himself. You wanna be the guy that's out here on point who values himself and who loves themselves. No woman gonna wanna think about you touching them. They're gonna wanna let you touch them with fucking long ass Wolverine looking ass fingernails. She's gonna be scared that you're gonna scratch up her insides and shit. <laughs> like, bruh, come on. My shit's getting a little bit long. I have a schedule of every Monday I trim my fingernails. It's Monday, so in a second here, in a little while, I'm gonna go trim my fingernails. Cause I already know what fucking time it is. I ain't, I ain't gonna be caught lacking like that. I'm not getting caught lacking. I already know y'all thinking, but mighty boy, your fingernails are pretty long. Yeah, I'm about to go cut them. Now that you know how to properly groom yourself, click the video on the screen so we can talk about the style hacks that will further enhance your attraction to women.